As a final step before we actually move on to our invoices, we need to make sure that we have all of our products pushed into the system as well. So those would be your inventory, non-inventory, and service items. Like in the other explanations, you'll see we've got the red items below display the new items that need to be pushed in. And I've taken the time to organize everything, um, including the parent name reference, as you're seeing in this column over here. This means that these items would be a sub item of that uh, particular one. So we need to remove any type of colons that we have, such as down here with the uh, sprinklers and sprinkler heads here. So you would remove these. And because we're going to want to add one more in, we want to get the, the sprinklers as a item in there. We'll go insert row. We can type in our sprinklers. And this is a category, so we won't have any pricing to it, really. And this will not have uh, this will not have a parent account, but we actually want to change these ones to be display correctly. Perfect. So let's go ahead and we'll choose the ones we want to pull in, and we'll come up again to here. Go insert rows and OK. Now that we've pushed all of the data for the items in, you'll see that everything has the ID number to it. You'll also find we've got the specific name itself, but the fully qualified name, which is showing both the parent and the child in, set up into the system. It's automatically added the appropriate account ID numbers for this, as well as the parent ID reference and the expense account references. So we'll go into QuickBooks Desktop. Let's go to our items list. And we can now see all the different items that we just imported into the system. Thanks for watching our video today. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them down below. And if you like this video, hit that subscribe button so we know and we'll keep making more content just like this. And as always, here's wishing you a very successful week.